Are you kidding me? Special thanks to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. What's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. You're watching Deer Meat for Dinner, and we're tight in Jurassic Park. What'd you make us for breakfast, brother? It's a little bacon, egg, and cheese, extra butter. You saving some of that on your cheek for later? <laughs> I'm assuming that sign thinks I've got a mirror with me. Rob, I don't know about that light rod, man. I love light tackle fishing. This is my old salty. You guys have seen me catch nearly every fish in the world on this thing. I don't know what you're gonna do when you get something on that, Rob. <laughs> Neither do I, but we'll figure it out. And <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We're in 430 feet of water, man. <laughs> I think we're heading to that bridge really quickly. <laughs> you know, everyone wants to catch a fish on light tackle until they're catching a fish on light tackle. Just dropping this bait down, it's a squid with a big 12 ounce lead. You're gonna drop it all the way down to the bottom. You can sit it on the bottom, pick it up, and it's got tons of action. So it's gonna look like a live squid or octopus down there. And uh, yesterday, a lot of the big fish that were caught had octopus in their stomach. So I'm trying to match the hatch and catch a big one. It's taken like 10 minutes just to drop it. Oh gosh, he he ate it like the second it got down there. Are you kidding me? I mean, as the bait got down, I got him. Robert's getting hammered. Okay. This is no sm no joke. I got a really big one. Good, Rob. All the salty. Look how little line I have. Now, if you guys watch, it's really important to reel the bend into the rod. See, you're reeling and you never let this rod flatten out. Yeah, baby! Hear me for dinner, making it happen. On the old salty. It's gonna be a little bit different kind of meat for dinner tonight. Yeah, it's gonna be. Babe, will you rub my arms and back? <laughs> What'd you throw on? Squid jig, bro. Dude, that squid is on fire. Same one we used earlier? Yeah. No joke about it, Alaska is growing on me. And this guy right here, he's becoming like a family member. Look at this, what do I got? A nice halibut. Oh, yeah. nice halibut on the spinning rod. Come here. Good. Look at that on the spinning rod in 420 feet of water. What an amazing fish. You know, there's an easier way to do that, Rob. <laughs> You're not gonna show off with all this light tackle. Hey, I'm proud of it, man. It That's looks awesome. good, man. Yeah, it worked great. You're only allowed one over 28 inches. That's a beautiful fish, but that's not the one I'm here for. All I'm telling you is, Alaska is the place to be. I think so. Here they come, here they come. Here they come, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Whoa. On a crappie rod. So I'm sitting here in my little nook editing, and I realized at no point did I show you what I was using. That's the jig. It's a little squid jig. Uh, this is an eight ounce jig, 12 and 16. The more current that I have, the heavier the jig that you need to use. As we've been here in Alaska, that's the most productive jig we use. That's a big one, bro! Dude. You wouldn't be that big if you weren't fishing 
<laughs> Dude, I got a giant arm. And while we're in here, I want to mention EcoWave. EcoFlow is a company that creates eco-friendly power solutions for outdoor adventures. They have this awesome portable AC unit that I've been using all over the place. But pretty much, it lives back here. I don't have AC in my garage. It keeps me cool and it keeps me happy because if you're not cool, you're not happy. They're having a Prime Day sale right now. So if you ever wanted to get one, now's the time. Some of their products are up to $900 off other stuff is up to 50% off. And if you use discount code DEARWAVE, you're gonna get $50 off this new EcoWave portable AC unit. So check out the links in my description below to find out all your information and all the discounts on their Prime Day sale. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Heck, forget catching fish, just the boat ride is amazing. Dude, it's so awesome. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, Rob, get that trout line in the water. <laughs> Okie dokie, folks. Here we go. We've got the old squid jig here. Matt, you ready or what? I'm going to like this. Everyone's giving me lip. They think I'm crazy for using this spinning rod. But to me, it's just fun, you know? The wind has picked up. We went through a period today where the ocean was like oil slick calm. And then the wind just started picking up a little bit, but it's still, it's really nice. And this boat, it's like a metal hulled catamaran and it really handles the seas great. What's our depth there, Chance? How much? About 4.30. 4.30, okay. Ooh, that's real deep. There's bottom right there. Oh, there he is. Are you kidding me? Dude. Sure. That's a big one, bro. Dude. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I got a giant arm. This Holy thing. cow. <laughs> okay, this ain't gonna be fun, y'all. No, this is gonna be a workout. <laughs> Okay, when this fish gets to the top, someone better have a gaff ready. Oh, be there next week, Rob. <laughs> One thing I do really like about this rod is the backbone. Like, it's the parabolic's got, amazing, isn't it? It's really good. You're putting it to the biggest test I've ever seen. Did you hit bottom? The second it hit bottom, pow! It's only, you only got 200 feet to go. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest important factor, keep the bend. Don't let the rod flatten out. Get the gap, here he is. Dude, holy smokes, I had him hooked in the wing. What an amazing, amazing fish. What a great way to end the day. We heading to the hill, you riding shotgun. Make some money, man. What's up, bro? Say hey to them. This guy right here, he's awesome, man. Every time I come to this place, he's always so helpful, run around, Always got a smile on his face. Be like this guy. <laughs> Get back. Get back. These are some creatures of the deep, man. If you look at these fish, these are arrowtooth halibut. All their teeth are like razor sharp and they all angle back. And then when you look deep inside their throat, they have these gnarly like gremlin teeth. Let's fillet it. I want to see if it looks the same as a halibut. Key to this that I'm learning is very little pressure. You get into trouble with these when you apply too much pressure. They're extremely delicate fish. And then all you do is you just turn this fish around 
and touch the outside of the of the backbone. You're thirsty? Yeah. Okay, watch out while I'm playing. We've been using these arrowtooth flounder as bait, but I, I believe their meat is just as nice as a halibut. Skinning these fish is super easy. All you do is get your knife started, and it's just a, a combination of pushing and pulling. Next thing you know, you've got the entire fish cleaned up and ready to go. What is this? Is this something that we poke you with? Is that what we do with it? Daddy. No? All right, you guys, so this is the reality of living in an RV right now. Got back, we've got some of this fish, and it's beautiful, smells good. I mean, it's fresh. Just because they call it an arrow tooth flounder doesn't mean it's anything different than a halibut. Starting off, we gotta make a stock. We gotta make the base of our chowder. I couldn't find fresh lemongrass, so I'm gonna use some of this. It's a uh, lemongrass paste. Put some of that in there. Don't ask me how much because I ain't sure. And then this, I did find that is ginger root. But when you when you peel a ginger root and then dice it up, that's what you're left with, like that. Which I've already done that. And this whole entire recipe is just like a figment of my imagination. It's just, I'm putting it together. So if I sound confused, it's because I am. All that flavor is gonna start coming to life. Then you take your salt, this is pink Himalayan sea salt, and salt up our water. Now we'll just take our onions, put them in there. Now this is gonna sound really weird to you, but I'm gonna cook my fish real quick, very fast. That, that water is boiling, and we're just gonna drop it in there. Now the fish is gonna soak up the flavor of the lemongrass, and the ginger and that pink Himalayan salt, but you gotta pay close attention to it. Sarah actually got me this today, so I'm gonna use it today. Oh, this is gonna be good. See how the onions are, are getting a little brown there? It smells so good. Doesn't it? Woo! Are you excited to eat this? And it's hot. So what's been your favorite thing to do since we've been in Alaska? Butter. What's been your favorite thing to do? Uh, get tickled? <laughs> get tickled? Is that what your favorite thing to do is? <laughs> Hold on, you guys don't even know this, but right under, right under here, she gets little tickle bugs everywhere. This is what you're looking for. That is now poached. Put it in here and it should break apart just like that. You don't want it to be mushy, but you do want it to be able to flake apart. Now we can just let that sit right there. And in the meantime, we'll take uh, some potatoes, put the tomatoes, in, ooh, put the potatoes, not tomatoes, potatoes, and we're gonna put some mushrooms right in there. Now this is going to sound even more weird, but I'm going to take a couple clusters of Dungeness Crab and throw it in there and let that all just start being happy. Now because There's the crab. There's the crab. So we'll take this 
and cover that up. That will help speed up the, the heating process. And watch this. Wait, no. Let's try that again. <laughs> now, like I said, this is just a idea. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some milk in here. I'm going to add some of these onions into my milk to try to season my milk. Yes. I got to get something. And we're going to let them just come over here and start cooling down. Dun what is that? Dungeness crab. That's exactly right. Good job. Now, you could strain this, but I'm I'm skipping that. We're just going to pour this right into there. Mm-hmm. This is your arrowtooth flounder. What? Yes. That's all the meat from it. And then to give it some really wonderful creamy feel, we're going to add some heavy whipping cream. Oh. And actually, that is my arrowtooth flounder. Arrowtooth flounder? Actually, arrowtooth flounder. I had to ask my mom about that. But I tried to ask dad, then dad said <laughs> no, but then asked Kevin, and Kevin said no, then I asked my mom, then she told me that is my air to flounder. I said that's a flounder. So while our chowder continues to cook, we're going to pull out all these nice big fat pieces of crab. Who doesn't like crab in their chowder? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Emma. Now we're going to take some green onion like this and just cut it into not tiny pieces because I like to be able to taste it. We can kill our heat, take our big spoon like this and go down to the bottom and get yourself all that love and goodness just like that. Then take yourself a spoon for your broth. And just to the top, like right there. We'll take some of our green onions, put right on top of there, followed by a pinch of crab. And then right around the edge, we're gonna put some croutons. Daddy. Almost forgot. Daddy. Ah. Dad. Yeah, baby. Can do you want me to eat this or throw it away? Dad, Whatever you want. Wow, you made a good alligator yeah. sound. That right there, folks, is the finished product. Oh my gosh, that's really hot. There you go, sweetheart. Thank you, babe. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, and thank you for this food, and thank you for all of our many blessings. Thank you for keeping us safe as we travel all over the country and do all these crazy things, Lord. Thank you for the opportunity and the blessings that you've, you've given us. Please be with us and guide us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, honey boy, you. you got yours? Aria, you got yours? Aria, it's really hot. Let's see what you think. I know it. Aria, you go first. The lemongrass, the crab, the fish. What lemongrass? Mm. What is lemongrass? That's anyways? really good. Holy mackerel. Wait, wait, do you have a... It's spicy. You can take your fork what and one? just get nice big chunks of the fish. Mm. That's proper. I still can't figure out what it is. Is it a chowder? Is it a soup? Is it a stew? I don't know. It's actually a stew, actually. Oh my gosh, oh yeah, I was gonna say stew. It's a stew. She's right. It is a stew. And that's what we're going with. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. I promise you, we have fishing for days. We've caught so many fish, it's not even funny. But uh, we're just getting started, and I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. We have some really cool stuff coming up. I just ain't at liberty to tell you about it yet. Take care. God bless. And we are... Cha-ching! <laughs> Gone.